Indiana's Attorney General says he will talk about the accusations against him. Curtis Hill says he'll meet with reporters this morning about the accusations he inappropriately touched women at a party in the spring. Drew Blair is on the story for us and joins us now looking ahead at what we expect to happen. Hey, good morning. This will be the first time for Hill to speak publicly since the allegations surfaced. He has released statements, but it has not done so in person. This was the notification we received from Curtis Hill's office. It set the public comments for 10 this morning at his office in the state house. Now, many are calling for Hill to resign, including Governor Eric Holcomb and leaders within both parties. This was the scene over the weekend as protesters held a rally on the steps of the state house. Organizers say they got together to show support for the alleged victims and to call for that resignation. Hill has said he will not step down. More than once he said that. He denies the allegations, calling them troubling and vicious. They center on a part held at a bar in Indianapolis on March 15th and celebrated the end of the legislative session. Four women are accusing Hill of inappropriate behavior. Two of them have stepped forward publicly. They are State Representative Mara Can Can Candelaria Reardon and the Communications Director for the Indiana Senate Democrats, Gabrielle McLemore. Both women published op-eds detailing what they say happened at the party. Reardon is the first to go public. She writes, while I do not know him personally, we had met before. We, as we were exchanging pleasantries, Curtis Hill leaned toward me as if he could not hear me and placed his hand on my back and slid his hand on my buttocks and grabbed it. I said back off and walked away as the staffer with me stood shocked. In Micklemore's statement, she opened up about becoming a victim of rape a few years ago of her interactions with Hill. She said, while an unwanted slow sexual rub on the back is nowhere near as traumatizing as the rape I experienced only a few years ago, sexual abuse is sexual abuse no matter the degree. We are allowed in the office within the next hour by 9 this morning. So News 8 will be in place, ready to bring you the Attorney General's statements live. You can watch here on Wish TV, on wishtv.com, and on Facebook. Again, this is set for 10 o'clock to start. Our State House Bureau reporter, David Williams, will lead our coverage throughout the rest of the day. So stay close to News 8 and all of our mobile resources, and we'll keep you informed on how this develops. Kylie. All right, Drew, thank you.